Hello my lovely air signs. I am going to start with you guys today. I hope you guys are doing good. Remember that this is general so take what resonates and leave the rest. You can flip the roles. You can be obviously be a male, you can be a female. There's no timeline on this. Also if you don't feel that this resonates at all then the message might not be for you there might also just be a little tiny thing that's for you in this reading i am also today going to take a card from um, this deck so that we can see what the soul mission is for you guys at the moment but I am going to take three cards from uh, this deck first. So I hope you guys are doing well. So let's see what is the message for air science today. This is just the strongest message that wants to come out today. Oh, I thought there was a card jumping, but no. Ooh! the swans i can't remember if it's called the swans or if it's called the heart swans would make sense definitely love oh the broom there is definitely um high temper here and we have the man the man not the man <laughs> okay i'm going to shuffle um these cards and then we're going to take one from that but i mean some of you guys are definitely having you know um a heated argument maybe or you just feel that whoever you're waiting for is too slow at the moment remember that even true that this is a male um it can represent represent a female if you are a man watching don't pay so so much attention to you know that it's a male or a female on the pictures but let's see what is the soul mission in this because this is definitely uh, about love again the strongest message that wants to come true again i mean for some of you guys this can also just be about some kind of passion for something i always tend to find uh, more than one message in um the readings so let's see what is the soul mission for air science at the moment we already have oh we have two i don't have that much base today so i'm trying to limit myself to uh you know to the little tiny oh my god little tiny table envy big time envy here i am the same as everybody but with different challenges we have had this card before where I did speak about that sometimes you don't see what the other person is going through. And I do feel that um, you don't know that whoever you're waiting for, there is love, but they are also going through something very hard at the moment. I do feel that. It's like in between you and the person, there is a lot of envy, there is a lot of um like temper like you are uh, sick and tired of waiting for someone here which again i understand that the other card we have is imagination i embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind the mission here for you or again can be for the other person is to be more imag <laughs> imaginary like manifest what it is that you want instead of focusing on the envy or on the hate or on the this person never reach out to me because you're going to keep being stuck in that wheel i'm going to put them away and then i'm going to shuffle like the normal deck Whew. You definitely need a lot of imagination in this uh, situation or in this relationship. Because, I mean, the man 
in this picture feels a little bit like he wants to offer love but he's a little unsure about like should i do it when is the right time to do it maybe they see that you are um jealous like they are afraid that you're going to um if they come back into your life there might really be a lot of anxiety and i speak about the other person because again that's the energy if and i've seen that in some comments if you're someone who hates another person if you've been dealing with a narcissist this message might not simply be for you so don't be like well i don't want this person into my life well if you don't want this person into your life I am not here to tell you that the person is coming into your life. Because the message might simply be for someone who, you know, who wants to, but still needs to overcome something. So again, take what resonates. If you're dealing with someone that is a narcissist that you don't want in your life, that person is obviously not going to come into your life. I just wanted to say that because I see it over and over and over and people are like, <laughs> mad because I say that someone is coming into your life that they don't want they're not going to come into your life if you don't want them um, but you still need to learn to let them go with peace like they are narcissists yes but if you don't want them in your life don't talk about them don't think about them you do have the nine of pentacles reversed as the first card then we have the two of cups reversed Whoa, seven of cups reversed. Yeah, six of six of cups reversed together with the hanged man um, reversed. Someone is um, more aware of that you are a soulmate. I do feel that. <laughs> yeah, and you might really because all your card is cards are reversed. So I don't. Uh, feel that you see that there is love potential at all in this anymore <laughs> three of sword traverse they are definitely getting over some kind of heartbreak here and it might be because that you are simply not ready for that you you know you're going to say no funny when we just spoke about like not wanting someone in your life who might try to come back but the lovers I mean, you know, you can close your eyes for this. It might be a Gemini for some of you guys. It might really be a Gemini. It might also be a Sagittarius. Someone here really wants to to make things um, right. I do feel that the lesson in this relationship, just right off the bat, is to learn to use imagination to release the envy and the, the high the, the hot temper because I do feel there's a lot of hot temper here and I it might actually be from your side because you have been waiting so long you are very you're impatient you don't want to wait anymore and it makes you hot tempered which obviously who can blame you for, for, for that underneath the deck we do have the ten of uh, swords reversed um so that is you know what you don't see what's hidden behind all this like hot tempered energy is that you can easily raise above raise from all these arguments this like i mean th there is a lot of hate i don't know if it's hate but there's a lot of hurt from the past simply because that you know there's a lot of secrets there's a lot of things that you don't know yet and it makes you furious it makes you again it makes you mad it makes you like how dare you come into my life again after you broke my heart someone is really trying to you know to give you <laughs> give you an arm and you are biting the arm off because you're like nope i will say that there there is two options here so there's a storyline for two different kind of people because some of you guys are going to kick this person 
out of your life. You don't want to have anything to do with this person. Um, it can be an earth sign because I do see earth really strong. It can also be a water sign that you are letting go. Um, it can obviously also be a Pisces or it can be another air sign. But if you are the person who is letting go of whoever you have been dealing with in the past, whoever, you know, continuously have been dishonest, have been, you know, coming in and out of your life without bringing stability, I do feel that you are going to to let them down. And that that is going to make them realize that they need to heal. And a Sagittarius or another air sign, maybe even a Gemini, might come on your path, on your new path. Because again, this can obviously also be, you know, a new beginning for that relationship. Because there is two strong indicators that this can, you know, go both ways. Also because this is general, so there is a lot of people watching this. So take what resonates. If you want to have a new relationship, then there is a new one coming in. Um, and it is someone who is really going to balance out the, 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 the stress that, that happened in the past. Maybe that's why you have the imagination card, because you, you need to be better at imagining the love that you want now. If you don't want the other person, no one is telling you to stay. That's, I mean, again, there is a reason why I talk about or uh, mention why I feel the need to mention things um, in my videos because there is this energy that someone um, it's like you still have a lot of hate or you still have a lot of like hot uh, anger towards the, the the person from your past but you don't want them in your life but you're still feeling angry about them you need to let them go you really need to let them go and imagine what it is that you want now but if you are the person who wants to, to you know, bring balance into the relationship with the other person again, they are going to come back. Yeah, they are going to heal with you. But I do feel it's very slow. I mean, it is going to take a lot of time if you choose to give this person a second chance. But I mean, you know, if that's what you want, I do feel that you could. I am going to see for... If you're the person who wants to find new love, I want to take um, a card for you. So, whoever whoever wants to find new love, you might meet a Libra. Air, air. You might even be Libra, Libra. Maybe you even let go of an air sign or a Libra, and a new air sign or Libra is coming into your life. I mean. The universe is tricky like that sometimes and you need to be better at imagining like just because that another air sign broke your heart doesn't mean that the new air sign is going to break your heart. Remember, you are rising above. You are learning a lot of hidden things with your imagination. It's very important here. So let's take a card. Um, by the way, we do also have the four swords. So this is all about rest. So again, rest and you know use your Im imagination also because these colors are you know the same if you want to manifest a new person into your life manifest a new person into your life so this is for the person if you don't want to give up on this person that you have a hot temper with let's see what card we can have for you yeah things are going to turn that's why i felt that there is it's the both energies here you can choose to find a new one um, or you can be someone out there who wants to start something new with this person. So, you know, it goes both ways for you guys. Whatever it is that you choose, you need to use imagination. You need to, I mean, definitely get uh, these cards under control. Because you're going to go to the same lessons or the same hot temper, manifesting the same things if you don't get it under control. Let's see if we can get some cards for, like, the envy. 
yeah, you don't want to be this energy because this energy is... I mean, she or he can be nasty. I mean, it feels very feminine. It's a very feminine uh, energy. Um, it's a very nasty energy. It's very... Again, it's envy. I mean, these cards are, are the same. Bashing out, being uh, moody all the time, not being happy. Let's see if there's anything else that can help you. Focus on the celebration, the happiness in this relationship. Because at one point you were happy with this person, but something got in between. Maybe you need to get your, you know, your feelings under control. Also, with this card, you don't know what the other person is going through. Because maybe they have financial problems. Maybe they don't feel that they are attractive enough. I mean, maybe you are really, for them, they, you are just like so amazing and beautiful that they feel small besides you. And yes, that is a thing. Some guys, you know, feel that way sometimes. So you need to turn it around, be more, you know, smiley, show that you are interested, show that you want to heal this. Even through the day's secrets, because the secrets are going to be revealed when you take along on this path. I do feel that this is going to be everything for you guys today. I hope you guys could use today's messages. Let me know in the comment below. Thank you guys so much for liking and subscribing. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! You said that you needed me Like a cargo